What's going on everyone? I want to share with you a couple uh, tips to grow your YouTube channel. And so let's start off with your title. Uh, whenever you create a title, you obviously should know the space that you're within. So for me, for uh, tutorials, I'll research other creators and kind of check out what they got. Also, just having, you know, some experience with uh, creating videos, I know what works and what doesn't. Um, so the first thing people are going to see is obviously a thumbnail and your title. So make sure that those two things stand out really well. Even if your thumbnail isn't actually from your video, it needs to be something that's attention getting, that captures the content and uh, kind of the emotion of what you're trying to create. If it's something exciting, obviously make it really stand out. If it's uh, more of a maybe a tech kind of thing, have a picture of the graphic. You really want to be able to have that viewer click on your video. And one of the great ways of doing that is your title and your thumbnail. So those are two super easy ways to start growing your YouTube channel. Um, I know a lot of people kind of just pass off on the description of their YouTube channel, but you know, right in there, uh, just maybe three sentences or so describing the video. Um, also, I would create uh, links within your uh, description, how to subscribe to the channel, uh, s links to other videos. You really want to create uh, content for people to, to watch. And so you're able to do that through um, linking different videos. Uh, another re way you can uh, reach people is through cards. Uh, cards, I believe you're limited to the five with the per video, but basically YouTube allows you to add links, uh, playlist. Uh, it's really cool how many things you can do in there. But cards are kind of like a little reminder, even if you have a nonprofit ministry, you can actually use cards to get people to donate, which can be actually significant. I've worked with a ministry where they got probably a, a near, you know, a sub $10,000, but it was pretty high amount of money. So cards are a great way to um, kind of a call to action. Now, when you're creating your video, you want to make sure you have really good sound. Sound is more important than the actual picture, which may sound kind of weird because video is obviously moving pictures. Uh, but when people overlook sound, it creates a uh, disconnect and people tend to pay more attention to background noise or hum or hiss or if it's really quiet, they're really trying to intently listen and then at some point they'll just give up. So hopefully I have good sound right now. I believe I do. I can see the meters on my camera. But you want to make sure you have excellent sound. You don't want to use uh, the on-camera mic. You don't want to use a shotgun mic. Um, you really want to use a lavalier mic like what I got on here. And this is wireless and it's so nice because if I wanted to, I could walk around and I'm not limited to a cable, you know. Um, it's great to have, you know, XLR cable or whatever connection, but ideally you want something wireless. So that way you have the freedom to move around. Uh, another thing is a good camera. Um, right now I'm shooting on a DSLR Canon EOS 70D and this camera is fairly good. I mean, it shoots full HD. It's not very... Uh, high resolution for what people shoot nowadays, you know, 4K, but it works for me. Um, speaking of which, I'm looking to invest and possibly get a new camera. I may talk about that in another video. But once you've created your content, you wanna make sure you edit it well. The pacing is important. You wanna be able to start off with teasing the video and then you don't wanna tease it so much. I've seen so many videos where literally they're teasing the end of the video for the whole time and then it takes about 10 or 15 minutes in till they actually you know get to what they teased so don't be one of those people on youtube i mean there's a lot of channels out there and the reason they do that is because they want the watch time to go up it really helps their channel but as far as a uh, you know audience wise it's a terrible uh, method i would never tease something and then take 10 15 minutes to actually get to it. i usually have to scrub you can scrub through the timeline, you know, to get to there. So make sure your content is, you know, pretty concise. You don't want it to be too long or too short. I think you can kind of gauge it just by the, um, you know, watch your analytics. You can see if people are watching, you know, two or three, four or five minutes and use that as a way to uh, make your other videos. Once you've created your video, export it, um, make a good title for it when you actually name the video. YouTube, surprisingly, 
uh, uses that name from the file name. So don't just have, you know, MIV uh, slash uh, whatever the native camera's uh, file format is. You want to create a title that's going to stand out. And in that, you create your title, like I said earlier, make a great thumbnail, even if you have to take a photo on a, uh, a camera, and then use that and add a, maybe uh, some text on top of that. Upload your video, make sure it's the highest quality possible that you can render it out without it being too big that it takes forever to upload. And then you wanna start adding your titles, descriptions, and then tags. So those are the three T's, title, thumbnail, and tags. Those are very important. So you wanna make sure that your tags are gonna allow other people to either search your video or be suggested in other videos. Tags are huge. And I actually use a couple different, I used to use TubeBuddy, but I believe you have to pay for that. But there are, um, there's a service I use called YouTube IO Tool. And it's great, you can, it's not only for YouTube, you can also do like Google, keywords, but basically you can put the title in and then it'll give you suggested um, names. So I take those suggestions and then I put them in the keywords and I've noticed my um, viewership has gone up. So keywords are really huge. After you've done that, maybe put in a playlist, um, you're ready to publish it. So go ahead and publish it. Now the time of week that you publish it does make a difference. Um, I see more people watching towards the end of the week and the weekend as opposed to the beginning of the week. So keep that in mind. Also, you wanna do consistently create videos. If you only do once a month, that may not be the best plan of attack. I would say maybe once or twice a month. If you can do every week, that would be awesome. But use that um, kind of as a gauge to pace out when you're gonna record videos, find out how much time it's gonna to take to edit so you can plan accordingly. Now your video is published, you got your title, your thumbnail, your tag, your description, possibly add it to a playlist, publish it. Now you can also um, add end screens, which are very important. I wanna make sure that you know how to use that. So the way you use it is you go to the end screens tab and you're able to actually create one either customized or you can use their template that they have. And basically what I do is I just add the subscribe um, icon and then two videos on the side. One usually is the best for the viewer and the other one is um, maybe one I just previously uploaded that's re related. And what that does is when the video starts to end, I think, I don't know how long, I think it's about 20 seconds towards the end or so you can add your card or excuse me, you can add your end screen and there you can add related videos um, subscriptions. You might be able to add websites. I'm not sure. I, I'd have to look at it directly. But anyways, you want to make sure you get those items up there. Um, once you do that, start using social media. Uh, post it, share it on Facebook, Twitter, even Instagram. Maybe take a 30 second clip of the good part of the uh, video and then post that. Link to it in your uh, description. So those are kind of the little nuggets you wanna use when you're creating a video. Obviously, you wanna have good content that people actually are interested in. That's kind of important. Um, try to use stuff that's relevant uh, and be very uh, focused. Don't be all over the place. I know uh, it can be tempting as a YouTuber to try to do everything, but for me, I stick within my lane. I love doing uh, videos for either myself or you know corporate things. I'll uh, occasionally uh, put my demo reel up, but mainly it's more sharing uh, how to do the YouTube, how to actually create the videos. And with that, I would love to hear from you guys. What, what kind of things do you need help with? Is it lighting? Is it sound? Is it editing? Is it finding out which camera to buy? So those are kind of one of the, some of the stuff I want to have you guys uh, link in the, the I want you guys to leave some comments below. Make sure you also subscribe and like. But overall, I think the more you do YouTube, you'll figure out the algorithm and start to link up uh, you know, the, the, the points along the way that will help you f get where you need to go. So thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.